All right, so I'm going to fold this in this manner. All right, and then you notice that when I Oops. Remember this question I asked in my previous video? Here's what some of you answered. Now let's find out the right answer and why. So let's have a look at the first option. Now don't be fooled by this net. It does look like a 3-3 net because you do see that there are 3 squares in each column. However, do you notice that over here, we actually have 4 squares that are surrounding each other. So this is where it will get a bit complicated because when you try to fold it, you notice that you won't be able to fold it nicely into a cube. So if you look here, alright, this is your 3-3 three, three net. So it resembles each other but you do notice that there's a slight difference, okay? The second column is actually put one square down. Now if you're having difficulty visualizing why this is the wrong net of a cube, let me show you a visual demonstration on how this exactly works. So here we have our wrong 3-3 three, three net for option number one. Notice that I have this face in yellow. Usually the trick here is that you set a face where you want to let it be the base of that cube and then you start to fold around that face. So what I'll do here is I will start to fold around my yellow square. All right, so I'm going to fold it in this manner. And you do notice that at one point in time, you won't be able to fold this net anymore. So you do see you'll be stuck here and this is why, all right, you have a big gap which doesn't fold into a nice cube. Now I'm also going to show you how exactly our correct 3-3 tree -tree net should fold into a cube. So of course, this is what we have over here. This is how a correct 3-3 tree -tree net should look like. So again, looking at the base of our cube, I'm going to start to fold around this yellow face. So I'm going to first fold it in this manner, all right? And then I'm going to close it up as such. And then you do see that this will fold nicely into a cube. Now for the second option, it's quite clear here. You see that this is not your 1 for 1. It's not your 1, 3, 2. Neither is it your 3, 3 or your 2, 2, 2. This is very straightforward. It is clearly not a net of a cube. So similarly, starting with the yellow face, you'll start to fold this net around the base. So I'm going to fold in this manner. And then you do notice that in some point in time, when I start to fold, there will actually be an overlap because you do see that this face over here is going to overlap with the left-hand side. And then you have an empty gap over here. Similar to the second option, this here is also not in the cube because it doesn't fall into any of the categories that we've discussed in the previous video. Again, let's fold around our yellow face. So I'm going to fold it in this manner and watch what happens. You do see that, hey, we actually have another overlapping portion. And then there's also again, another big open space. Now this brings us to our final option, option number four. Now clearly this is a net of a cube because you can clearly see this is a one, three, two. So again, starting with your base, let's start to fold around the base, all right? And you do see that over here, it is going to fold very nicely into a cube. We hope you had fun learning more about nets. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. See you in the next video. Bye!